ISIS is a high-power accelerator that fires high-energy protons into two targets to release neutrons for experiments. A world-leading center for research, ISIS provides facilities for over 2,000 scientists from 30 countries visiting each year. The accelerator starts with the ISIS ion source, which creates negatively charged hydrogen ions made up of two electrons and one proton. These are then fed into the first of three accelerators. This accelerates the ions and focuses them, like an optical lens, for entry into the second accelerator, a LINAC. The LINAC accelerates the ions up to 35% of the speed of light. The ions are then transported to the third and final accelerator, a circular synchrotron. As they enter, the ions are stripped of their electrons by a thin foil, leaving the bare protons. The synchrotron is made up of ten sections, each consisting of a bending magnet to keep the protons on their circular path and five focusing magnets. The total distance around the synchrotron is 163 metres. Electric fields provide the accelerating forces in ISIS. They also separate the protons into two bunches. As the proton beam is accelerated by the electric fields, the bending magnets need to become stronger and stronger to keep the beam on a circular orbit. The magnetic fields are over 10,000 times more powerful than the magnetic field on the surface of the Earth. After 12,000 revolutions of the synchrotron, the protons are now travelling at 84% of the speed of light. At this speed, they could travel six times around the Earth in just one second. The proton beam passes through a thin carbon target, producing muons for experiments before hitting the primary target to produce neutrons. Based at the Rutherford Appleton Laboratory in Oxfordshire, ISIS and similar facilities such as Diamond Light Source are the driving force behind UK science. With plans for further instruments for the second target station and continuing research, development and investment, ISIS will continue to be at the forefront of UK science.